Uh, you guys. So we're doing a two-thirds way through July update and we've added another variable. So I want to say thanks to James Cat Lover, James the Cat Lover. He wanted me to test doing uh, daily urine on a couple tomato plants. So I found uh, a volunteer tomato that started up over there somewhere. And then this is a tomato from the package that the, all these other tomatoes came from, but it's not going so great. So that's why I found this volunteer and added it in. So we're going to do that and just to see what happens. <clears throat> Excuse me. But we have some progress here. So here is the urine and ash, and then I'm going to stop adding the urine and ash once blooms start. Now I've transplanted the little onions twice. I mean, look at its neighbor, right? These look great, but um, these keep failing for some reason. I'm not sure why. I'll, I have enough to transplant about one more time, but that's going to be it. Now remember, this is at least two or three weeks behind the other beds. Here's the pepper, tomatillo and tomatillo, and you can see this tomatillo has started to bloom. So I uh, watered it in today with ash and urine, but now I'm going to stop doing that. And the tomatoes back there look a little bedraggled, but otherwise they look pretty good. All right, here is the control. And I have to tell you, I made a little error here um, for two waterings. I mistakenly fertilized the uh, onions and the pepper um, because I had added this bed and it just made my mind go off uh, my numbers so I inadvertently did that but I've stopped now um, and I'll put the signs out every time I water so I know exactly where I am which is probably why the onions look so great and the pepper definitely looks great it's one of the best peppers out here right now let's go ahead and pull that grass uh, tomatillo looks good nice stock lots of blooms and then the tomato doesn't look as good as I mean those down there look fantastic right it doesn't look uh, so great it's got one two three blooms but um, it's a little, uh, it's not as green. It's not as green. So like here is the miracle Grow tomato. More blooms. It's taller. Um, and it's greener, definitely. You can see this has yellows in it. The tomatillos for the miracle Grow, very studly. The pepper, actually that, this pepper is better than that pepper. It's going great and the onions are going great. So here's the daily urine. I just started this yesterday, so it's gonna have some time to catch up. Here is just the strictly urine, and the onions are as good as, well, actually they're not as good as the miracle Grow or the urine with wood ash. So they're more like the control. Um, pepper plant is smaller here than it is in the other two. But the uh, tomatillo is, well, actually, it's a little smaller as well. See, that's the miracle Grow. It's kind of hard to see all this, isn't it, with the beds spread out so much. So this is the urine. Um, but the tomatoes back here are tall. And I'm going to have to start actually uh, tying them up because it's, oh, shit. It's big and tall now, so I'm going to have to tie these up on here. Here's the urine with wood ash as well. It's a, I'm going to stop doing that. It's also big and tall. The tomatillo here, I think, is the best so far. Look down there. I think it's the best for sure. The pepper is uh, on the smaller side than the miracle Grow and the control that was inadvertently watered, but the onions here, I think, are some of the best. This and the miracle Grow are the best onions so far. So today is July 22nd, um, so it's my second or third July video, 
and we'll keep an eye on all this, see how things go. Uh, I did end up having to tie up the tomatillos because they were starting to fall over, but let's just take another look. Here's the uh, urine with wood ash. Here is just the urine. Daily watering. Miracle Grow. Control. And urine and wood ash where I'll stop watering when they start blooming and since this has started blooming I'm gonna have to mark this somehow and stop stop fertilizing it to see what happens all right so there we have it I'll update you again beginning of August let me know if you have any questions I forgot to say as well I know these are hard to see in the heights and everything, but I will keep track of production. So I'll have a spreadsheet and weigh out production, and that might be the way we decide a winner. Uh, last year and the year before, the Miracle Grow was an early starter, came out strong and was the best for a couple months, and then the urines and the urine with wood ash caught up. So this is what's expected. This is what has happened previously. So anyway. Fingers crossed, we'll see what happens.